Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to tell you how to prepare your presentation for your very first review meeting or a doctoral committee meeting. That is DZ meeting, we will say. So, according to the university norms, you have to attend at least two reviews. Okay. So, the review number of reviews may vary. That is, a review meeting may vary depend on the university. But at least you should attend two review meetings. Okay. That is a doctoral committee meeting. Some in some university they will call it as a review meeting. So, doctoral committee meeting, it is to monitor you that whether you are going in a right path and what are the things which you have completed so far and what are the insights you have gained. And they will give you some other advices and uh, some other guidance that how you can proceed and how you have to change and what is going right and what is going wrong and everything. So, always as a PhD scholars, you will have the doubt that what should I present in the first review meeting? What should I show in the first doctoral committee meeting? So, usually the doctoral committee meeting will come once you have registered, that is at least 6 to 1 year, 6 months to 1 year after you have enrolled into the PhD. Okay. So, even this may vary, that is the time gap may vary. Sometimes you have to attend within 6 months or sometimes you have to attend within 8 months, 12, 12 months. So, it may vary. But you should be ready to attend that, that you have to uh, follow all these things that you have to just make sure that you have you are ready with all these stuff okay so the very first thing you should uh, see is see uh, this is the time which i have attended my first doctoral committee meeting which is 23 4 2016 okay now one thing you have to look at it, the slide size should be proper see if i just uh, click the slideshow Okay, you can see that the left side and the right side are blank. Okay, see here the left side. So, this is what I am telling and the right side are blank. Okay, now we are going to see. First of all, you have to design the slide very properly. I am going to show that see in the design tab. You can click here the design tab and click here slide size and make it as a white screen. Okay, slide size and white screen. And if you click the slideshow, you can see that it is occupying a complete window okay it will be good if it is projected so the very first thing is this and the second thing is that the design should be very proper like you should not include any light colors light colors in the sense what like a fluorescent colors okay and the font should be visible okay here you can see that the background is brown and the font color is white so it will be very good to see but uh, if you use any very light color with a yellow color font like that it will not be very good and appealing okay and you should include your um, roll number here okay you have to include your register number or roll number here inside the bracket and also you should include your supervisor name okay supervisor name and their designation and everything okay that is the very first slide you should have and you have to include your uh, thesis title okay the title which you have proposed while you attend the first uh, that is the uh, interview okay that you have to keep it here so these are the thing which you have to include though so before uh, once you have registered into this um, doctorate like uh, if you once you have registered into the phd program so you should start preparing all these things okay like objective of the research and uh, the research my topic is about systemic lupus erythematosus so i am just giving uh, the i have given the detailed uh, introduction to this because most of the people might not know about this and then you should write the problem specification okay research motivation what what motivates you to do this and the international status of the research what is the national status of the research and what you are currently doing okay and what is your expected outcome you can include the year wise plan like within two years if you have if, if you are supposed to complete it within two years or if you are supposed to complete within three years or four years or one year so you have to write it what is the year wise plan finally you can include the conclusion and if you have published something you can include the publication and what are the analysis i have done so far and the few references you can add it in this i'll tell you what are the mandatory thing that is objective is mandatory problem specification is also mandatory research motivation is mandatory under research you can give it and expected outcome conclusion okay conclusion you have to include and then references is compulsory 
okay i'm just going to take you through my res that is my slide okay this is the objective of the research which i have given and uh, about uh, what is sle because most of the people might not know about this disease so i have given some deep insight into it and uh, problem specification so what is the problem which i found uh, in this research that is uh, the previous research and what m motivates me that is the research motivation and what are the questions you can answer for this uh, existing problem and this is the international status of the my research and this is the national status of the disease and under research what i am doing okay under research even what i am doing and what is currently researched being researched in that problem which i have taken okay and then what is the expected outcome of my research and what is the year wise plan what i have planned so far and then what is the conclusion okay and then publication so these are all the publications which i have uh, that i included for my very first review meeting okay so these are all the publications and these are all the paper presentations that i have presented in my conference and what are the analysis done from my publication so this is like a literature review probably like a literature review so these are all the some analysis okay so these are all the papers which i have published okay based on my published paper i have done some research analysis and then few references you have to include for sure okay the references it's not mandatory that you have to give complete references you can give at least 5 to 10 references that will be fine okay so this is for very first doctoral committee meeting and i'll come up with an another video like how you can present what or the important uh, topic which you have to include in your second doctoral committee meeting or a review meeting all the best for you all guys do it well always in phd you need a motivation to complete it always keep track with your supervisor talk to them and uh, update your status you have to present at least a few paper presentation though even though it is not included in your university norms try to present your paper in some conferences because then only you will come to know what are the various ideas you you can implement in your research okay and then try to publish any chapters in a book even you can write your own book okay don't limit yourself you have to involve and you have to learn many things if you have any doubts please post it in the comment box i'll be sure that to help you out in research or any other technical or technological based contents or anything i'll surely help you out all the best take care bye bye